Hi guys, my name is Caroline and we are back again like never before with a very interesting international dish all the way from India. We are going to make garlic butter naan. Stay tuned for more. Make sure you subscribe, give me that like, share this video. Yes. Making garlic butter naan is so easy and I'm going to show you the ingredients first. We have two and a half cups of flour, a quarter cup of melted butter, three tablespoons of plain yogurt, some coriander, three tablespoons of sugar, half, one teaspoon of salt, two and a half teaspoon of dry yeast, one egg, some cloves of garlic and half cup of water make sure it's warm the first thing we're going to do is mix our combine our water and our sugar and our yeast and we're going to let this form a foam and let the yeast uh, soften. This will take around 15 minutes. As our yeast is softening, we're going to work on our garlic butter. So we're going to cut our You just grate your garlic. So the next thing we're going to do is in a pan, we're going to put our butter. And make sure you put your, your on medium heat. We're going to put our garlic until they are sizzling. As it cooks for a minute, we're going to cut our coriander into small, small pieces. This is what we are going to apply on our naan. Brush it all over it. it. Makes it so sweet. So we're going to add this into our garlic. done so we're going to set this aside for basting gonna put it aside yeah looks good it smells amazing as you can see our yeast has completely softened look at this it looks so good so uh, we're going to mix our flour do two cups I'm going to put our yogurt plain yogurt our salt and then you're going to mix our remaining one tablespoon of butter we're going to mix with our egg I'm 
going to mix this up after mixing our egg and butter we're going to pour it to the mixture and mix everything together Kneading your dough, uh, we're going to put some oil in a bowl, like uh, one teaspoon. And then we're going to put our dough inside and, let, and cover it with a towel. We're going to let this double for, for in size, maybe for an hour. So we cover that. After 30 minutes to an hour are over, oh, as you can see, our dough has doubled in shape. We're going to cut this into six pieces. We're going to roll out each piece. You can just put it in flour, then just roll it out like this. To a skillet of a high heat. And then you're going to take one piece and then roll it out in an oval shape. So make sure your surface is, is well flat. So make sure your then you're going to flour your rolling pin. So we're going to do this in an oval shape. Once your skillet is hot, we're going to cook our naan until it bubbles. It forms large bubbles for like one to two minutes. We're going to cook just like that. As it cooks, we're going to work on another one. Once it forms these large bubbles, we're going to turn this to the other side. Yeah, it looks so good. Look at that. Make sure it has that golden brown. Give it that oval shape. Roll out. And you do this for all your naan. Make sure it is a nice oval shape. So we're gonna put uh, this to cook on a high flame. 
look at that a nice oval shape look at that looks so good amazing once it's done we're going to plate that and then we're going to put our another one I'm gonna repeat this for all our non let it form that bubble those bubbles After two minutes, you turn on the other side. Look at that. Looks so good and puffy. They're amazing. When you remove from your pan, when it's really hot, we're going to brush our butter, garlic butter on top of it. You just brush it up when it's really hot. You just brush it all over. All over you brush it then you turn the other side when it's really really hot you brush it you brush it all over like this and then you take your other piece you brush it when it's really hot So delicious so so delicious you will love it brush your garlic butter on top the coriander just like that Finally, our garlic done are done. They look amazing. I can't wait to have a taste. Look at that. So you can have this with the chicken stew or you can have it with liver stew. Any meat stew that you have, this will go so well with it. Yes. So let's have a taste. Look at the way it looks so puffy. So good, amazing. Look at that. It looks so good and so so nice. Mmm. 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 So this will go so well with any stew. It is so delicious. It just tastes amazing. You will love it. Try this Indian bread and let me know how it turned out. Make sure to comment down below and let me know which other international dish you'd like me to prepare next. I hope you enjoyed this amazing episode. Learning how to make this Indian bread is so good and goes well with any meat stew that you have in the house. You will love it. So don't forget to comment down below and let me know which other international dish you'd like me to prepare next. So don't forget to subscribe, share this video, like. That's it from me. Bye-bye.